Hi YouTubers, this is Sunday, March 19th, 2017. I'm down at the Feather River doing another video so that I can show you the progression of the water as the days go by. Right now, they're releasing out of Oroville a uh, main spillway as far as I know, between 40 and 50,000 cubic feet per second. And I'd like to show you, you'd have to see my previous videos to see that the area that I used to go down on to show you the river bank isn't there anymore. It's come up over the river bank and right straight ahead you'll see that big log is usually at the side of the the riverbank in the previous videos and that little sandbar right there is where I would stand and as you can see I'll pan over and you can see that big rock is um, in the middle of the water now the river is flowing faster today the last time I checked the river had increased about 10 feet in depth from when they first opened up the spillway this last time. So everything that was sandy is all covered up now. I'm basically at the river bank, but it's, it's come up over where the normal river bank is. And you can just see this dirt area. The weather is overcast. Hopefully I'll get better sound quality today. I apologize for the bad sound quality. I just haven't had time to work out getting that microphone cover and getting things going. I feel like right now the message is more important than the method. But I do appreciate everyone's constructive feedback about getting my microphone a cover. So I, I am working on that. I'll pan around and show you the levee. As you can see, let me walk up a little ways here. I'll, hold on. Okay, as you can see, the water, as it keeps coming up, is going to be getting closer to the levee. Now, it seems to have stabilized at about a 10 foot rise. So if it stays at that, then you could expect to pretty much see this same scenario. If for some reason we start getting maybe a hundred thousand cubic feet per second down here, the water is going to be up to that green part of the levee. And I'll repeat the numbers again. Right now the river is at 55 feet approximately 55 feet deep the flood watch stage for this area of the river is 65 feet flood stage is 80 feet and if it reaches 83 feet it will top the levee I'm gonna pan around and show you the levee again trying to have a steady hand. I don't have a tripod. Probably wouldn't use one down here anyway. And I'm working with a tablet. So that's the levee. And there are houses and there's a baseball field on the other side and some other things. I think there's some industrial stuff down there that would get flooded if, if it topped the levee. So I'll pan around again. Um, I'm going to walk down there um, to show you how the water just sort of creeps up. And it's starting to spread out now. So if it rose any higher, you would see it come up over this area here. And then as it got higher and higher, it's going to 
cover those trees. This tree here would probably be totally covered, these two trees. That big one over there, not all the way. But you can see all this stuff has been underwater before. As a matter of fact, a lot of it was underwater before they turned the spillway off this last time. The, the whole thing that created the, uh, the incident up at the dam, it was running through at about 100,000 cubic feet per second. So, And as you can see across the way where the Yuba River comes in, you used to could see quite a bit of sand over there, but that's sort of filling in. Let me go down here. Again, I apologize for the shaky camera. Not a lot I can do about that right now. My main goal is to let people see the effect that the Oroville Dam has on the towns downstream. It's a nice day. Right on that levee, uh, I could go up there and film if the water gets any higher and I can't get down here anymore. And I believe that you'll be able to see it seems to be flowing faster than it was before. Right there. Okay, well... That's about it for today. I don't know if I'll come down here again. I think the water has pretty much reached um, the level that it's going to reach at the current outflow rate at the Oroville Dam, but we'll see. We really don't know what might happen up there, um, but I did want to document this, this part. So see you later.